Hello everybody and welcome back to Train Sim World 2. Today we are doing the third and final round of tutorials. We're looking at Sandpatch Grade today. So let us jump right in. So we're doing the AC4400, the SD40-2 and the GP38. Dash two today, and uh, this is the um, route introduction. Welcome to Sand Patch Grade. Thank you. Welcome to Train Sim World 2, an immersive and highly detailed rail simulation featuring authentic routes and trains Where's from train? around the world. Where's the train? There it is! You've just been awarded some action points. These are displayed in the top right corner of the screen and count towards your overall experience. Nice. It is necessary to be fully observant of the surrounding world. Besides operating trains, there are lots of requirements to navigate on foot. Try moving around now. This is one of many interactives to be discovered, okay. but not all of them will be as easy to find as this one. Board and take a seat in the cab with the engineers for a short ride. Up we go. Nice animation there. Uh, oh, okay. Lag spike there. Close the door. No. Let's try and close that door. Yeah. All right. Let's have a seat. You can pause the experience at any point. And a lot of time right. will be spent operating trains, so when ready, a heads-up display has appeared on the right side of the screen. This is a guide to what the train is doing. Yeah. This is the speed display. The white needle shows current speed. The red marker indicates the maximum permitted speed. Okay. This is the direction display. An arrow will indicate forward, reverse, and neutral directions. Yeah. This is the power display. A number will indicate what position the power control is in. Yeah. These are brake indicators. They show the state of the various brake systems, allowing independent management of them. In the top right are the signal and speed limit displays. These yep. feature an indication of what is approaching. Right, let's turn the stop markers off. Just remember that stop marker off. Cool. And a countdown distance to when they will come into effect. Yeah, we know this. Some of these dis This train is ready to go. Pull the indicated handle all the way back to get moving. Grade offers the ability to operate powerful and heavy freight trains on one of America's most stunning and famous railroads. Yeah. Let's just sit back in the cab. Quite loud. You are currently riding an AC4400 CW locomotive. These are the workhorses of trains operating over the Sandpatch Grade, with CSX Transportation having more than 600 in its roster. That's a lot. Train 
sim world allows you to ride Other internal and external camera views are available to be explored. These can be accessed from the number keys. Yeah. You've only explored a small area here, so let's take a look at what else there is to enjoy. Okay. Welcome to Pennsylvania. Crossing the Allegheny Mountains, the Sand Patch Grade is a vital link in the sprawling CSX rail system. Master the controls of powerful American freight locomotives operating out of the vast Cumberland Yard facility. Whether the sun is shining, there's a rain shower, or a full-on snow blizzard, it's up to you to keep the rail traffic moving. Battle your way over one of the steepest railroad grades on the East Coast. Along the way, don't forget to place safety posters, collect lost hard hats, put up no trespassing signage, and fix broken snow markers. Welcome to the Sand Patch Grade. Thank you. Right, so we will move on now to the individual train introductions. believe first will be the AC4400 and then it should be the GP and then the SD. We are... Oh no, we're getting the GP first. This is the latest generation General Purpose Type 38 locomotive built by the Electromotive Division of General Motors. Known as a GP38-2, it packs an efficient 16-cylinder diesel-electric motor able to generate 2,000 horsepower. Okay. We're going to be able to get on board. First off, walk yes. over to the locomotive as indicated. Right, there's our animation. Open the cab door. Right. Safety always comes from. Right. Automatic to the left brakes. is the auto brake, which applies brakes along the entire. We're about to move, so make two blasts of the horn to alert you. Now add some power, but not too much. Too much power too soon can damage both the locomotive and the cars. Always start off night. Can we turn the bell off? The bell's really annoying. That concludes the basic engineer training on this locomotive. So let's bring it to a stop. Cool. 
That's it. That was great work. You've just completed your first lesson operating the GP-38-2. There's always more that can be discovered, though. As engineers, oh, we'll never cool. stop honing our skills. Oh, okay. It's an interesting camera. <clears throat> Alright, so... Next, I assume, if we're doing this... Possibly the SD-40? Possibly. I mean, I got it wrong. No, yard switching. That's got to be a... Is that a scenario? I think that is a scenario. So, we'll go back and manually select the next tutorial. Still getting to grips with this game. Uh, so, we go explore. Training. Uh, so I've done that, now we need the SD40-2 introduction. Then there are still a bunch more training modules left to do. This is a special duty Type 40 locomotive built by the Electromotive Division of General Motors. Known as an SD40-2, this locomotive is one of the most successful designs of all time. A 16-cylinder diesel electric motor provides a stomping 3,000 horsepower. Okay. See, so we're in exactly the same position as we were before. First off, walk over to the locomotive as indicated. Right, up we go. Open the cab door. To the left is the auto brake. We're about to move. Right. This train should accelerate a little bit faster because of the increase of horsepower. And we are seeing that now. Oh, that bell was glitching out of it there. CSX TH255 We are in exactly the same location as where we just were so It's fine Coming up through 9 MPH Bells squeaking a bit Right that concludes the basic engineer training on this locomotive. Cool. So let's bring it to a stop. Yes, let us do Move that. the auto brake to initial reduction. As with applying power. Cool. Oh, that was quick. All right. We can. Next training module. I think we will go back and manually. Uh, do the AC4400 because that's what I think we should do next yeah and then we'll do uh, turntable refueling co-loading and switching can't wait to see the screenshots for this game I've already made a few on my um, 72 stock relivery. This locomotive is the AC 4400 CW built by General Electric Transportation of Erie, Pennsylvania. This is the workhorse of the Sandpatch grade, 
able to generate a staggering 4,400 horsepower from its motor. Okay. Let's go. First off, walk over to the locomotive as indicated. Open the cab door and proceed inside. Proceed. Let's get started by letting those around. Generator field off. There are three key controls. Uh, engine is... Right, this one. Air brake. Cut in. Save changes. Exit. Up back out here. The right hand levers are the brakes. Cool. We're about to move. So make two blasts of the whole. And we are off. Accelerating quite a bit faster. I take that back. About to feel a little bit sluggish. That concludes the basic engineer training on this locomotive. So let's bring it to a stop. Move the independent brake forward a shot. Yeah. Not that. Cool. that was that okay thank you guys for watching next time i will be looking at the livery designer and scenario planner and thank you for watching